Hi and welcome back to the channel. You find us in the van getting ready to go away on another weekend. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine as much as we have these last few weeks. We've been out and about doing the shows, the festivals and even taking a little bit of time out for ourselves. Now, today I'm going to introduce you to the latest gadget in our vehicle and it'll probably surprise some of you because it is <laughs> an AFRI 800 watt portable power station and this it's now my favorite new gadget i'm going to be honest with you it really is my favorite new gadget if you've seen us out and about recently you'll have seen me with this making food for people um i use this in a little 800 watt uh my uh air fryer i forgot what i was talking about there <laughs> and i've been cooking breakfast for people i've been using people as guinea pigs, testing my new recipes out. But I've really enjoyed it. And I think part of our van life culture is that we do share stuff and we share equipment with each other. We share good products. We share good food. And this is what makes this whole scene unique and uh, probably why we all enjoy it as much as we do. Let's have a look at the features of this little power bank. What makes it so good in my eyes. To entry level power bank, and uh, I'm I'm swayed. I've had this three months. I've been harassed by the company week on week. When you're putting a video out, I'm not the kind of guy who just makes videos after video after video promoting people's products. That's not me. I like to use and abuse, take the product out into the field, test it, and if it's any good, I'll tell you all about it. Sometimes I try and get you a free one as I have done in the past. This one here, unfortunately, nobody's gonna get this. I'm keeping it. I love it that much, I'm keeping it. And uh, <laughs> no, it's, it has become a permanent fixture in the van. Absolutely love it. Anyway, here's some of the key features. I brought the unit inside just to show you the screen. There's too much reflection light outside, so as you can see there, we've got it on charge for the last five minutes. It is just ramping down now. Four minutes to full, that is telling us. So we'll let it carry on and we'll just run through some of the key features of it. On the DC side, we have a cigarette lighter outlet, a 10 amp. Also a DC 6530 and uh, that's also rated a 10. Press that button and it shows you the two icons for that, them outlets. Onto the USBs, we have two USB 3s. We have also, three Type-C chargers, 220 watt and 100 watt, so that's a fast charger there for you. And again, you press that icon and it brings it up. There is a light also. Press the right button. It has SOS function on it as well. Press and hold it for a couple of seconds, but I'll turn it off. All that is your DC side. Now, on the side, we have our three pin outlet and that's rated to 800 watts a little cool feature about this unit is when you switch the three pin outlet on the 230 this unit also becomes a UPS so basically what that means is it will bypass the battery and allow you to power an item that you need so if you're using a CPAP machine or you need to keep some uh, medicines refrigerated, this will allow that to happen. But in the event of using losing power, it will switch straight over without any delay. I think that's a really good feature. Absolutely brilliant feature. So let's have a look at the inputs. Let's say we've got our solar input there. It's up to 200 watts, 50 volts, no greater, and you have your mains plug as well. This unit is really well constructed, rugged design. It is, <laughs> I've had this in the van for the best part of three months, uh, using it, abusing it. It's got rubber feet on it, it's got no marks on it from, sorry, it's got one little mark there. I dropped something on it, but I don't take any prisoners. This has had a good workout with us, and I'm, I enjoy it. I really have enjoyed using it. Has another cool function as well. 
over a period of time, um, if there's no activity, it will turn itself off. So I think I can turn that switch off there. That's it gone out. That should go back up to 99 hours. Yeah, it's really good. Now it also has a fan built into it. So when it's running, this is the fan end. When it's running, don't block these two ends off. But there is nothing on the back that you need to worry about apart from the spec details. So you're going to pause the screen and, and take them details. They're all in there for you. But you could put this right up against a wall. You can have your inputs in one end, your outputs in another, and still be able to access the front to charge it. The big question a lot of people have is how long does it take to charge this unit? From flat, it will take you one and a half hours. So when this arrives, it'll come round about 30% of state of charge. We had it on and fully charged within less than an hour. So I can't fault that. We were down to 22% at the last event we were at and we put it out. There was qu quite a patchy day, lots of sunshine and then cloud. You know, it was one of them kind of days. A little bit of rain involved as well. It took four hours to charge from 22% right back up to full. So I don't think that's bad. Um, a little 200 watt panel, again, it's all happening for free. You know what I mean? You've paid for the product. You want everything you can get out of it. So we've used the solar panel. We stick the solar panel out most times. Works a treat. Again, rugged design. Nice piece of engineering. Nice piece of kit. Um, the Even this little accessory bag. Really nice bit of kit. Love it. Um, well thought out. It's got space for your own charging leads in there. PD to PD chargers. All them good things. Space. It's definitely there. I've not used the dust cover. Um, I may use it in the future, but I don't know. <laughs> I've never, I don't see the use, the practicalities behind a dust cover. Only downside to this is we didn't get a cigarette charger. So obviously we live in the late district, so we spend a lot of time driving to venues and events. For us, that is wasted energy. We could have charged that unit, had it tip-topped and... Uh, you know, saved a little bit of time, but it is what it is. I bought one. I've just gone and bought a generic one off Amazon for about eight quid. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. But for me, the price you're paying for it, that should be in the kit. It's the only downside I've got to it. Right, let's go and pop out the solar panel, show you around that. watch the solar panel this bloody dog always wants to play when I'm making videos it shall lie in the sun all day doing nothing but as soon as I start getting toys out and start to prep for videos she's here with a bloody ball <laughs> what a dog bloody dog leave it Leave it, leave it, leave it. Another cool feature of this, uh, this solar array is it comes with charging points. You have two USBs, a USB-C and a DC outlet. And it all tucks away in that little pouch there, so if you didn't want anyone to see what you're charging, you could pop it in there as well, but you could very easily just lay it on the ground behind it. The kit also comes with this little accessory bag and in there we have a spare connection for the unit, a charging cable for home and this dust cover. So nice little bit of kit. Um, you've also got storage in there for a couple of other things. Um, you maybe want to put some USB leads in there or some uh, USB-C leads in there. So nice little bit of kit. Um, nice addition to what you've already got making this a really good unit it is a great little product it's rugged it's only six and a half kilos in weight so it's not too heavy i'm holding it one-handed there's no reason that i can't manage it it's not too heavy to be transported about 
and uh, I think the weight that you've added to your van is is of benefit you know I always bang on about keeping the weight down in the vehicle but this this here is worth part of your budget oh. we've managed to find multiple ways of using this product and here's just some of them comes in handy for charging drone batteries audio equipment and cameras it even comes in handy powering the lights for when we're making videos quick and convenient way to make bacon <laughs> Even when it's down to 23%. You can even power your beer fridge. Look at that, five hours and it's on 42%. Oh, and they are lovely and cold. Right, we have just made something. These are muffin pizzas. The taste test now, go on. Here's the willing victims, Nick and Jen. Go on, give us a wave. Hi. Hello. Tell us what you think. Honest opinion. Ooh! They remind me of the pieces I used to get at school. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to try one as well. I'm not having this. Blind taste test. Nice, Bob Bob. Oh, they are good, eh? Oh, they're really good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10, 10. I highly recommend that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's right. So, no bullshit. That's four of us that like them. I'm going to make some more. <laughs> Like I've said, great little product. If you don't believe me, try one off for yourself. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you check the description below, we've got you some fantastic discount codes. We've even got you one for the big boy. I think that's over 100 quid in savings um, using our discount codes. We've had a lot of fun with this. This has been available to anybody that comes around, that can plug the phones in it, that can charge up the phones. If we're out and about and you need to phone, your phone charge or your camera's charged, or anything charged, just come and see us. I'll let you use this, no problem at all. If this is full and we're charging stuff, I'll let you plug into the solar panel. It's not a problem. We're here to help people, we're here to share our knowledge and share the great products that we find to help each other out. But we've had a lot of fun with this. Um, if Afri want to send me the big one to try, I'm up for that, <laughs> put it through to paces, and if that happens, you never know, this little boy here might be up for uh, one of you guys to have. Anyway, remember, promo code's in the description, I want you to have a great weekend, get out there, get yourselves away, enjoy the rest of the weekend, have fun, and uh, we'll see you next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Great little product. Why not head over and check out our new website? www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group The Crafty Blinder Van Builds Thanks for watching